Be busy, not a busy body. Second Thessalonians chapter 3 and verse 11. Yet we hear that some of you are living idle lives, refusing to work and meddling into other people's business. Who is a busy body? A person who is too interested in other people's affair. Paul cautioned the people of Thessalonica not to live idle lives since that could lead them to destruction. He wanted them to be busy with the work of their hands. He did not want any one of them to be home. If they remained home without doing anything, it would lead them to get involved in something that was unworthy and that would lose their testimony. How prophetic Paul was when he expressed the idea that none should be a busybody. Today, the world promotes everybody to be a busybody. For all the destructive phenomenon, they have sophisticated terms. In today's world, it is known as social media that gives way for people to watch what the others are doing. There's something called a status update that lets your contact know what you're up to. I have seen a huge number of youngsters get up from bed not wishing the day well or seeking God but looking at the status of others. Sometimes it might make them feel happy for their friends but oftentimes it makes them feel jealous and angry with their lifestyle. People feel envious of their developments. It is ironic to see that there is nothing that is private, everything has come for public display. It is saddening to note that many people comment on the status and even like or dislike them. Some are even excited about the number of people who have seen their status. If we get rid of this unwanted waste of time, every one of us can become constructive. There are also those who make their living by using the social media extensively. Their only job is to keep the others busy bodies so they could be busy making a living out of these idling folks. God expects us to be busy with work doing something for God for the very life we enjoy because of Him. Be busy, not a busy body. Amen.